I know. I understand. I'm with you. Maybe you're new to Linux and you're wondering how in the world do I copy a file or even a directory, hello, to another Linux machine. Or maybe you've been using Linux for a while and you just need a refresher. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And maybe you know all of this and you just want to watch this video anyways because uh, we're friends. <laughs> so um, let's begin. The command that we're going to be using is SCP, which stands for Secure Copy. And uh, it uses the SSH protocol in the background to move stuff around magically in the ether. But if you're brand new to Linux, I just want to tell you about this file. And so it's a, kind, of like a, kind of like a mini DNS that you're running on your own machine. And so it's mapping this IP address to these two host names. So I just wanted to tell you about it because if you see me using Ansible hyphen one, you're like, where is he getting that information from? But now you know, you can do this as well on your machine. And so let's do secure copy. Well, first, let's first, let's check out my username, which is Armin, Arman, Arman. And so just so you, uh, this is gonna be important for later, just so you know. Um, secure copy, and let's find a file that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using Best of Linux and Ninja. Fun family entertainment that you should watch with the family Saturday night. SCP, secure copy, and it's always, if you're copying to another machine, it's always what you're copying and where you're copying it to. And like I told you earlier, Ansible 1, I'm copying it to that machine. So if you don't use a host name, you would just put in the IP address of whatever. And uh, then, <laughs> this looks terrible, sorry. <laughs> That's still terrible. Anyways, so... And now you have to specify there's a colon and then after after the colon, like where are you going to put it? And so let's get rid of that horrendous lie. Um, Ansible one. And if I don't put in anything, it's just going to copy it to my home directory. Make sense, right? Uh, if you're strict, you have to put in like the username that you're going to be using on the remote machine. But I know that my account, my username that I'm currently using on this machine is also on the server. So, well, uh, I don't have to put it in. But if it didn't exist on the server or the Linux machine, I would have to put it in and then use it like that. And so I'm not putting in a directory to use. Like, let's say you wanted to put it in on the temporary directory on the remote machine. You would do it like that. I'm just doing it like this. And so now it's copying the best of Linux Ninja to uh, the Ansible machine. And voila, it is done. It is complete. And so if you wanted to check it out, you would do it like that. I'll, I'll show you another way as well, just because, you know, we're friends. And so there it is. <laughs> Magic. So I told you I would show you another way. SSH, Ansible, and then we are going to run a command on the server like that. And now it's showing what's in my home directory on that remote machine. And there it is. Pretty sweet. Now you know how to copy a file over to a remote host. But let's say you wanted to copy a directory. Let's create a directory, mkdir, movies. And let's do touch movies, IMDB. Now we're going to copy that with the recursive option, movies. And we're going to copy that over to Ansible. And let's do something different. Let's copy it over to the temporary directory. And that is done. What we can do it to verify is just to SSH into the server or run the command again, again. Uh, let's do ls mantel down by close. And I did that wrong. I did that wrong. It's my, that was my bad. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh, why did I? Sorry. So we have the movies directory there, and you can trust me. Where we can just do movies. If you don't trust me, this relationship is not working out. 
Oh, come on. IMDb. There you go. Now, you know, with the recursive option, it's copying the whole directory. Sweet sauce. <laughs> if you want to copy a file or a directory from a remote host, it is SCP recursive. If it's a directory, let's just do a directory. Hello. But let's first do trash put movies. And if you're wondering what is trash put, I'm going to put a link in the description to that video of mine, which was, it's going to save your Linux administrative behind one day. So thank me later. Click, click and subscribe. <laughs> uh, SCP real cursive and the host that we're going to copy from. And what do we want to copy? What do we want it? When do we want it now? And where are we going to put the thing that we're going to copy? The dot is the current directory of this, this spot, this moment in time, this moment. And oh, let's do LS. And there we have movies again. I know. So that was the command. So the host name and then the name of the directory where we're going to take it from, take it and where we're going to put it. So uh, that's it for, uh, let's say you wanted to do a file and let's do this one, this majestic piece of work, this the, the 17th chapel, uh, SCP. And remember, if you're having issues and maybe you have to put in the host, the username. And so, the current directory, this is where we're going to put it. And you right here, you could actually put a dot and then like this, this is the path separator. You're telling it the current directory on the server. You can also do like this, home directory. I'm just telling you about these options so you can explore, learn on your own, but there's stuff that you can use there. But I'm just going to put it like this because it's going to fetch it from... Uh, I'm going to delete it first. I'm going to delete it first. So trash put, remember that, that video. So good. Best. And now best of Linux. Let's verify it's gone. And <laughs> I have to put in that whole thing again. SCP Ansible, that whole thing, that whole thing. Uh, what was it called? Best of, and where are we going to put it? In the current directory. And password. And I'm going to release a video tomorrow about SSH stuff. So if you want to like not put in your password all the time, you're going to have to copy your public SSH uh, key over that you have. And um, I'm going to show you that tomorrow. Let's not talk about it now. This is enough. You can't learn everything at once. I'm just going to show you one more example of like... Um, SCP, and I'm going to use the username root because that's maybe going to help somebody at home that's still confused. And I'm like, I'm, I'm always root, root it. Uh, let's do report Debian. We should all report Debian for something. I don't know. Uh, root at Ansible. And if we don't want to put a path in there, it's just going to copy it to root, which is the home directory for root. But since we're like, we can do anything. User sbin, we're root. Who cares? Like, we're breaking the law. We have no boundaries. And so if we want to verify that, uh, let's do SSH root at Ansible. And let's do LS LTR user SBIN. So we see the newest at the bottom. Back to the bottom. Of a dump. Oh, there it is. You can see it. You can see it. Mm -hmm. um, so that is there. That is there. Uh, so... I put in a username. So let's do if SSH on the remote machine is running on a foreign unknown port of mischievousness, then you just put in capital P and the port number. And voila, of course I can't connect because I'm not running SSH on that port. And so hyphen P and if you want to see what's happening in the background, if you're having issues, Use hyphen V for verbose. And so now you see uh, all the stuff that's happening uh, behind the scenes. And if you need more verbosity, 
who doesn't honestly um then you can do more than one i think you can do up to three i really should have googled that before i started talking about it but let's let's learn together ssh man ssh man it up uh and let's look at hyphen v let's protocol version no nope. display no that's capital v we're not going to be doing that nobody wants to know that um maximum is three <laughs> so if what that means what that means if you put in more you're just gonna get more verbosity so it's kind of like your, your wife on a good day where it's like it's just it's non-stop it's just words words word. um which is a good thing love you darling um what's next um i want to talk about when to use scp versus rsync we're gonna do rsync later let's learn like one one baby step giant baby step at a time and so scp is good for like one-off jobs i want to copy like I, I i downloaded illegally a movie and i want to put it on my plex machine scp is good for that um or something like a one-off i want to move this now right now but rsync do a cron job with rsync where it syncs everything up if it's something that you have to do hourly daily weekly something that's always happening so rsync for that uh scp is good for these one-off things what we've looked at so far honestly covers like 99 percent of the scp secure copy stuff that you want to be doing either at home or on the job so don't worry you're good you're set but don't click away one more example before we go for today before class is dismissed secure copy hyphen three i know hyphen three what does that mean it means that you become the person in the middle you copy something from a re remote machine to your machine and then you just throw it off out into the ether of a remote machine so root at using a the username on the remote host where you want to copy stuff from and we just threw out there user sbin report what was it uh debian dot html and now we have to tell where it wants to go. Where do you want to go? <laughs> no, I do not want to close the window. Um, I have copied uh, the IP address and let's just put it into TMP. So I think that's good. So SCP hyphen three, the username on the remote machine where we're taking the stuff from and where we're going to put it. It, that's the remote machine where we're going to put it and that's the remote machine where we're fetching it from and as you can see voila, took it from one threw it to another teamwork makes the dream work ssh root at this unknown mystery machine of doom and let's do lsltr and see we should have here report debian so i think you have just become a secure copy wizard. That's it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you all. Until next time. Bye.